<laughs> Tell him how you really feel. I did songs. What's good, YouTube? Hi, guys. Studio B21, back at it with another one. This guy here is uh, Mr. Ryan. Uh, Mr. Nino right beside me. Um, so what are we doing today? With well, first Ryan? of all, what we're doing is we're just kindly asking. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Like Socials and up in the good. corner. Okay. Fearless leader, feel free. Put it up in the corner. All that good stuff. Comment. So we are at war. With Compton, LA, Drake versus Kendrick. It has been five oh my days. Goodness. My God, my God. Uh, 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 this is not my genre. I am an old guy, but it's just blowing up on my socials lately. On the internets. On the interwebs. I hear it's a series of tubes. It is. Okay. Uh. There, there have been declarations made. There have been allegations thrown out there. Ugh, there have been. Uh, one might say, and I'm probably going to get a lot of flack for this in the comments. Hi, guys, by the way. Hey. Uh, this is this generation's Pac versus Biggie. I could see the comparison. Can you imagine mm -hmm. if uh, we had Twitter back in the day of Pac versus Biggie? Imagine... It got out that Biggie was using Ozempic. <laughs> Pac would fucking murder him. I mean, he already did, but, you know. But Anyways. Yeah. yeah. While we're not necessarily invested in the music, one thing that we acknowledge that any good rap battle will bring us... What I truly enjoy. ...is the memes. Oh, I'm in it for the memes. Oh, man. we're in it for the memes, baby. Here we go. The be some of the best Kendrick versus Drake memes that we found. You know, I gotta say this about Kendrick. Uh, from the little that I do know, this guy could hate, and he's brought hate. This guy, this to guy a is brand on... new level. It's like I, my hating game has been lacking in comparison. This man makes Skip Bayless look like a scrub. I mean, it's like good lord, my god. You know. If you try real hard, kids, study every day, say your prayers. Say your daily affirmations of hate in the mirror. You too can you grow too. up and be a fraction of what you, and hate oh, a fraction oh of what gosh. Kendrick is doing right this, now. This hate mm, oh, chef's kiss on that. Chef's kiss. So let, let's just dive in. Let's right dive in, in, shall we? Right? It's like I'm Joe K, Hell Cat, made his own voice and them types of LA solo K. Everybody wanna be deep. Your son's a sick man with sick thoughts. I think niggas like him should die. Him and Weinstein should get fucked up in a cell for the rest they life. He hates black women, hypersexualize them with kinks of an info fetish. And the Jackson all in my house, like I'm Joe K, Hell. Stop, stop, stop. And a child should never be compromised, and he keeping his child around him. And we gotta raise our daughters, knowing there's predators like him lurking. Fuck a rap battle, he should die so all of these women can with a purpose i hate the way that you dress i hate the way that <laughs> <laughs> tell him how you really feel I did songs try to destroy families rather than taking care of his own should be teaching you timetables or watching frozen with you okay thoughts holy shit <laughs> this guy goes hard this guy goes real hard on I, this man. i will admit i know of kendrick a tiny bit i have one song by him on my phone um only because it was the bandwagon song when I was in high school. Wow. Uh, Bitch Don't Kill My Vibe, which don't kill my vibe. is kill my vibe. paints him as a very humble person. But goddamn, he can hate. But he did, his lyrics, his, uh, the nuance of his words and like the, the quantiple entendres he drops. Oh, the fact that. He waited for Drake to give a reply and dropped literally an hour later his response. Wow. He had this shit in the bank. He apparently has 10 different diss tracks for each for a subject if Drake breaches it. Oh my God. That is generational hating. That is oof. That, oh my God. That's like well curated hate. You know, that's. That's proper hate. You know. People would bring that like three star Michelin, you know, restaurant hate. People will comment stagiaire on for just, free. Just just to 
get a glimpse of the process of the hate. Oh yeah, going through his head, so that it may you inspire know? them in their future hatings. Yeah, let's bring it all over the world. Oh yeah, yeah. Let's dive into the next one, shall we? Let's go, baby. Yo, shout out to J. Cole himself. He knew to sit this one the fuck out. Did it start with J. Cole? It started with J. Cole Say, and Drake we're... dissing Kendrick, but then J. Cole said, nah fam, I wave the white flag after one, so no, fuck this, I'm out. It's like, J. Cole said, like, we're the top three, like, we're the best. And then Kendrick said, fuck the big three, it's only big me? Yeah. Now, you know what I think? I think J. Cole didn't want Kendrick to bring up his Rwanda basketball stats. Oh my god. <laughs> Scarborough shooting stars. But All one point a game, baby. It's like, we could honestly say at this point right now, like, three diss tracks versus the one, right? Yep. Am I, am I right in this? You might actually be wrong. I believe it actually might be about six to three, Kendrick. Is it? Yeah, I think so. Okay. But judging by the meme's reaction... It, He's getting bodied. I think it's uh, Kendrick is in the lead here. Absolutely bodied. Like, uh, let's, let's see a couple more examples of this. And back in three. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> J. Cole hiding in the corner. And it's J. Cole. Oof. Fight back! Fight back! Jesus Christ. <laughs> the, the internet is... Not the Naruto! It's like, just number one on this, man. It's That's just like... See, this is what brought me into it. You know, it's like... Okay, I understand Naruto. <laughs> Right? You understand he's the main character getting his absolute ass beat. And he's just, he's just getting eaten. It's like, good lord. And just J. Cole hiding in the corner. Just like what you said before, just enlightened me. You know? Oh, I, w I w You know what I wish that would just make this like all, all better in this one in particular? Not the one that says Kendrick. I wish the one beside him said Metro Boomin. Because he's the one as well. So, who's, who's Metro Boomin? Metro Boomin is a black beats maker. Essentially, this generation's Timbaland almost. Okay. Massive beat maker. Does basically all the beats for future uh, Kendrick as well. He's done. He's done some for like different all types of mainstream rap artists. He's the guy you pay a hundred grand to make a beat for. He's the hit maker. He's the hit maker, okay. and. Basically, right now, Metro is getting all his people to go up against Drake. So it Ooh. literally is turning into a seven verse one. Ooh. And I love it. I love seeing it because you know what? I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna hide it. I don't. I'm not a fan of Drake. Like really? Why? What's it up to you? I don't mind his music, but just knowing the type of person he is from when we used to work in a certain building, and oh. he had. His own little private club yes. that he he had in the building. So, yes, just yes. from past interactions, I know he's a prima donna. He's a diva. He needs the bathrooms cleared out for him to take a piss. Yeah. But then again, since that other week, we know why. Well, we, we know that. Yeah. Why. Did you know that all three of Kendrick Lamar's district? are connected the title 616 in la goes back to kendrick's euphoria as the tv show euphoria was released on june 16. but kendrick said but don't tell no lie about me and i won't tell the truth about you on euphoria who's actually warning drake about meeting graham okay that was an amazing line yeah i was like 
But yeah, I'll be quoting that forever. Like, I'm stealing that. So when people don't know who Kendrick is anymore, like they'll probably think I'm smart. But good I mean, lord. You know what? It just goes to show how much of a master lyricist he is. It's like, wow. Like, he's doing this filled with hate. He is not... His vision is either crystal clear or clouded by hate. And I, just the fact that he's able to articulate that good of a line while he is seeing red in the booth. You know, he's just, apparently it went on for like a 30 minute cut. But then he, but then he probably realized it was too anti-Semitic. <laughs> good Lord. He just, he's the best. I think the best one I saw was uh, a clip of like Kendrick. Finish Drake in your next song, and it's just Alex Jones. Jew, 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 oh Jew, Jew, Jew. Oh no! Uh, 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 you, you sweet. I mean, Mr. Editor. Okay, we're gonna. Yeah. You know what? If you can find that gift, you sweet, please, please. Good lord! You know, we don't hate you, but uh, much love, shalom. But yeah, good lord, that was an awesome night. It's thirty minutes after Drake released Family Man. In which he stated that Kendrick mistreats his wife. When you put your hands on your girl, is it self defense you bigger than you? Kendrick released Meaty Grams. In Meaty Grams, Kendrick exposes Drake for doing tremendously worse. Furthermore, this line in Euphoria. I make music that electrifies. You make music that pacifies. I can double down on that line, but spare you this time. That's random acts of kindness. Refers to the cover of Meaty Grams. On this cover, we can actually see a medicine with Drake's name on it. We see a bottle of sulpidum. Which is used to call people down, aka to pacify people. And it also hinted at going back to back on Drake in Euphoria by saying, Back to back, I like it, Rick. I'm gonna get back to back for the record. The title 616 in LA even goes back to a tweet Kendrick made in 2011, in which he talked about his first show in Toronto, Drake's hometown in Canada. 616 is actually Father's Day in Canada, referring to Kendrick talking about Drake reportedly hiding a daughter. You lied about your son, you lied about your daughter, huh? You lied about them other kids that's out there hoping that you come. And Kendrick talking to Drake's son on Meet You Grants. Dear Adonis, I'm sorry that that man is your father, let me be honest. Furthermore, the title refers to the day OJ Simpson's murder trial started, and OJ's famous glove is featured on both of Kendrick's covers. The title okay. also refers to the day Tupac was born, alluding to Drake buying Tupac's ring. Somebody had told me that you got a ring, oh god, I'm ready to double the wage. Did you know that all three of Kendrick Lamar's diss tracks are connected? It wow. So, I gotta say, he's bringing the kids into this. Yeah. Alleged kids. Alleged but Adonis, that, that line of, you're Adonis, I'm sorry that man is your father. Oh my god. When, uh, he just goes off on that for like a couple of verses. Yep. Wow. It's one of those things, and you know what? It carries over. It it's gonna this is no matter the winner obviously Kendrick right now but no matter the winner or loser this is going to be talked about for this is going in rap's historic pantheon of like feuds and fights and like well, I said yeah. like modern day rap wise like these guys are on the Mount Rushmore right? oh modern day yes 100% well, it's not my day but like your day maybe and they're taking advantage of it too like people are paying attention to it do you know how hard it is to get to get gen z's to pay attention in today's day and age no like <laughs> my you think my adhd is bad like it's oh shiny yeah tiktok tiktok Ooh. man that's good lord that's this generation's adderall oh yeah man it's like get a dopamine rush it's time you swipe up swipe left yeah Good lord. I mean, whoever discovered the like formula on Instagram that releases dopamine, holy Jesus. Yeah. He did an experiment with rats one time. Oh, yeah. You know, but he put, he put cocaine in the water, right? Mm. And he discovered that they'll do nothing else to drink that water. To feel good. And they literally died just doing that, just feeling good. Mm. No. Hey. Anyways. Anyways, uh, guys, let us know what you think about this. Who's winning? Who's losing? And do you do you think Drake's? Do you think Drake actually has a daughter? Let us know in the comments. Oh. <laughs> 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 
Yeah, he, he's already dead. Oh, Jesus. Wow. It's the beatings, eh? Just the repeated beatings. My goodness. Because, like, when you bring in the Simpsons to the meme world, then, like... You think they predicted this? <laughs> Simpsons predicted the beef. <laughs> Wouldn't put it past them. Oh, man. The Simpsons predicted this. And on that note, guys, we're going to leave you for today. Let us know in the comments, how long do you think this is going to go on? The beef, I mean. The beef. Uh, not not the other leak with Drake. No. no. We don't know. We don't want to know how long that's going to go on. Um, but, yeah. Yeah. Uh, thank you guys for watching. We hope you guys are enjoying this just as much as we are. Share your favorite Drake memes in the comments below. And... Hope you guys have a great day. Love ya. Love you guys.